Hi everyone! I'm glad you're back again for another night of arachnids, although what we're going to do is start with a book that's not necessarily about arachnids, but it's a really good book and I love it nonetheless. And I figured it kind of recaps all of the animals that we talked about so far. So let's think, what were some of them? We had birds have feathers, birds have wings, birds shake their tail feathers and their silly beaks. Yeah. And we had reptiles had scales and shed skin and they laid eggs and what else? They were ectothermic. And then we had amphibians had eyes on top, eyes on top. And amphibians had wet, slimy skin and they breathe through their skin. And I don't think we talked, but they have wet, slimy, slimy eggs too. And then we moved on to insects. And they had had thorax abdomen. They had two antenna and an exoskeleton. Now, we're gonna read the story and let's keep an eye out for some of those animals that we've already learned about while we read. This is a great one and maybe we can finish it all, we'll see. Um, because I have just one arachnid for today. Um, so she's not gonna take up a lot of time. But today we're going to read a nest is noisy and this is by diana hutz aston and sylvia long wow look at all those look at this page just with all of those different kinds of nests do you see them all mm, i wonder who they belong to i wonder if we'll find out let's see a nest is noisy it is a nursery of chirp, chirping. See that? That's a ruby-throated hummingbird. Yeah, they're gonna be coming back up if they haven't already on their migration north, so maybe you'll see some. Buzzing, squeaking, peep, peeping, bubbling babies. Wow, look at all those different animals. Let's see what we see. We see American alligators, yeah, those are reptiles. And they have those kind of leathery eggs. And honeybees, look at honeybee nests or hive, wow. And a fox squirrel nest. And gourami, that's a type of fish right down there, yeah. A nest is welcoming. Look at that big nest. Look at that. Yeah, let's see who does that belong to. Oh, that's a blue jay nest, another bird nest. Wow. A nest is enormous. Four tiny. Look at that. This is a dusty scrub found nest. Look at that gigantic nest. That is also a bird nest. But look at that on the ground all of those materials and up here look there's a bee hummingbird look at how tiny there's a little ruler under there so you can see just how tiny that's about two inches really tiny sort of like the size of maybe like half of my finger wow a nest is spiky pebbly papery wow look at that so we've got a cactus wren nest another type of bird nest an elf Owl nest up there in the actual cactus, wow. A bald-faced hornet nest, wow, that's one to look out for, yeah. And a lamprey, lamprey, like a lamprey eel, another type of fish. Or even bubbly, yeah, what do we got? An African gray tree frog, wow, frogs can make nests too. Wow. We have gray tree frogs around here. Not African gray tree frogs, but we do have gray tree frogs around us. Different kind. And what do we have? Oh, down here. Look, look, do you see the tadpoles? Remember, the amphibians went through metamorphosis. What else do we have? Oh, there's a gourami nest. Look up here at the surface. There's the, there's the grown up, the adult gourami fish. Let's see. A nest is hot. 
American alligator nest. Now, American alligators and even crocodiles make really good parents, really good mommies. They really take care of their babies. That's really special about that kind of a reptile. And an oven bird nest. Wow, an oven bird. I wonder if that's why it's hot and that's how it got its name. Hmm. A nest is hidden. Look at those hidden nests. Wow, what have we got? A Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. A sea turtle, another type of reptile. Look, this type of reptile, this type of turtle has flat fins, flat feet for swimming. Yeah, kind of like flippers. Yeah. We met, we met our, um, our turtle that was a red-eared slider and it had a little bit of feet for swimming. There's some turtles like box turtles that have more tortoise-like feet, although box turtles are turtles, but tortoises, if you look, have stumpy feet because they don't usually go near the water. What else do we have? Let's see. <gasps> platypus. <gasps> look at that. A platypus. We didn't talk about mammals, but a platypus is a mammal. Mammals have hair and floppy ears, but a platypus is silly. They're one of the only mammals that lays eggs. Oh, so creepy. So much information. A nest is neighborly. Look at that neighboring nests. Look at that neighborhood of nests. And those belong to bio weavers, type of bird. And down here at the bottom, look, another type of mammal, black-tailed prairie dog. Look at their neighborhood underground, all their tunnels. Wow. A nest is peculiar. Hmm, strange. What do we have? Army ant nest. They're insects. Yes. Wow. Look at them all working together for that nest. And cave swiftlets. Look at that. Their nest in a cave. Wow. A nest is muddy. Look at those American flamingos and their muddy, muddy nests. Wow. A nest is adopted. Adopted, yeah. So on this page, we have buff-breasted paradise kingfisher. And adopted means that nest would have belonged to somebody else first, and now they're using it. They adopted it. They didn't make it themselves. They're kind of borrowing it or taking it over. A nest is noisy, buzzing, swishing, rustling, flapping, and humming with babies, but only until they are ready to fly, swim, or crawl away. Wow, look at that, all those babies. We've got baby American flamingo. We've got an organ pipe mud dauber. There's another insect. We've got the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle babies. We've got black tail prairie dog babies. Let's see, I'm seeing a few pages left. Let's see if it's, oh yeah, we can finish. We can do this. Then a nest. quiet and look there's all of the animals we saw in this story wow so wonderful right so i think we're gonna get right back into our arachnids and it kind of ties in you know i wasn't thinking about it in the beginning but we're gonna bring out my friend watermelon today and watermelon's another one of my special arachnids that got her name on program because of her color so wait do you see and I am gonna have to when I show you I am gonna have to kind of take apart her kind of her nest so she likes to make a nest in let's see can you see right through let's see see her in her little it's kind of like her nest that keeps her safe and protected and if she had an egg sack, it would be in there too. See it? She made it out of her webs. Yeah. Now her webs. So before, before I bring her out, I will, I will tell you, I will spoil it. She is a tarantula and her webs, they're not sticky like other spiders that they don't really catch their food when it sticks to the webs. They use their webs to stay protected. And if, and if something crawls over their webs, it, it moves the web and she'll feel it. I remember her hairs yesterday, Flower had hairs help her feel because I don't have antenna. Let's see. So I'm gonna take her out. Oh, I wonder if you can see in. You see, there's a special little opening right there. See her, it's kind of like her doorway into her nest. Yeah, into her, into her web. 
So there she is. I'm going to carefully, I might even be able to, if I blow carefully on her, sometimes she feels it and she wants to run, run, run. So let's see. If I can do this without really breaking it apart, that will be wonderful. But I might not have any luck with that. So let's see. Let's see what we can do to get her to come see us today. Woo okay, so I did break it a little bit, but she'll rebuild it. So let's see if we can get her to come out. If she's going to be so, she's a little fast today. Sometimes she's fast, sometimes she's slow. There she goes. There she goes. I'm going to carefully put her house back. So, oh good, most of her nest stayed. So her door is still there. Good. So she'll easily be able to rebuild it. So this and I don't know if you can see through the light, you see her pretty colors. She's got kind of green and blue on her cephalothorax, her first body part. And her abdomen kind of has some nice, whoa, sorry, lovey, some nice reds on it. And I don't know if you really can see it, but her legs, they have some, whoa, I know, honey bunny. Oh, there she goes right over the camera. Okay, I know. Her legs kind of have a little bit of a purpley, especially when she's in the sun. Now, when watermelon was a baby, she was bright blue. And then every time she shed, she lost a little bit of her blue and gained a little bit more of her adult colors, her greens and reds and purples. And that's how she got her name. The children thought she looked like a watermelon with the greens and the reds. So they named her watermelon. So I'm going to see if she, I know, baby girl. Come on. There you go. So watermelon's a little bigger than flower, but she's still a baby. She's still going to get bigger. Again, probably about the size of my palm here. So she's growing. She's she's almost full grown, but not, not quite. And she also looks, her abdomen is missing some hair. So she's probably going to shed soon too and get even bigger. Sometimes I have some of their shed, but I don't have any. Maybe tomorrow I'll see if I can find some shed ahead of time. Oh, look, she's getting ready to show you some of the cool things about arachnids. Look at her waving her legs. Do you remember how many legs an arachnid had? They had eight legs let's see if she'll let me count them i don't know she's kind of skittish one i know two three on me four oh she's got some silk coming off you probably can't see it though five six seven eight oh there you go so fast i know love i know come on up here there you go eight legs let's count on this one this will be easier than having watermelon stay still one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. And what else did they have? What else did they have on the front? Do you remember they had two pedipalps? I don't know if you can see her pedipalps are kind of, too oh, I know, jumping again. Oh, so jumpy. I'll tell you why she's so jumpy. So before we find her pedipalps again, watermelon is called a Antilles. That's a place. And he tilly's pink toe tarantula, or sometimes they call her a red tree spider, a Martinique red tree spider. So she is from like the Caribbean islands and she actually loves to live up. Oh, she jumped again. She actually loves to live up in, I know, honey, up in trees. So she's used to kind of jumping to, to stay safe or maybe even to catch her prey if she needs to. So that's why she's kind of jumpy and she keeps trying to jump Oh, away from me. I know. Oh. She is, she, I might have to put her away in a little bit because she is having it. And if she gets upset, she might flick her hairs on me or she may use, she has two little fat. Whoa, she jumped again. She has two little fangs and she does have some venom, although it wouldn't hurt me if she bit me. Um, and she would use her fangs to bite her food and it would kind of make an, she eats insects, it would kind of make like a, an insect milkshake and she'd kind of eat it and slurp them up that way. It helps it helps her to eat more easily. And if she got really upset at me, she might take her fangs and kind of just touch me gently with them. And that's her way of saying, I'm done. I've had enough. So I'm going to scoop her back up. I gave her, I know, I gave her a second. I don't know, maybe we can even see her fangs. But let's see if we can find her pedipalps before she gets too upset with me. Do you see them? Tiny little two little feet up top that look like legs, but they're smaller. There's kind of a good few of them up there. Two pedipalps. And if she's really good, if I can tilt her, we might even be able to see her fangs. You see, oh, there they are. You see her fangs? There they are, her fangs. Yeah. Oh, jumping again. All right, all right, all right. So, eight legs, two pedipalps. How many body parts do you remember? We did it earlier. Two body parts. They have 
cephalothorax, kind of like a head, and an abdomen. Pretty cool, right? So she's looking like she's ready to go. And, and I might be ready to go to bed soon too. So, oh, I know. So maybe she'll stay still enough and we can sing that song one more. Oh, I know, watermelon, it's too much. So let's see, if we remember, I might remember saying, arachnids, arachnids, have eight legs, have eight legs, arachnids, arachnids, two body parts, two body parts, arachnids, arachnids, Two pedipalps, two pedipalps, arachnids, arachnids are really cool, are really cool. And she's really cool too. Look at her putting her legs out there. She's wondering what's going on. She's kind of feeling if she's ready to go or jump. Now, ooh, don't jump yet. We want to say goodbye to you. Now you're ready to say good night, arachnids. Good night, watermelon. Good night, pink doe tarantula. Good night, everyone. Good night.